Hello subscribers, here is another review, and this time it's the Mattel Jurassic World Dino Rivals Savage Strike Monolophosaurus. Now this was one of the few retools slash repaints I actually wanted to get. For one, I really like the Battle Damage Monolophosaurus. That was one of my favorite Battle Damage figures, and it's nice to see another version of that figure. And second, orange is one of my favorite colors, and I think the nice orange paint job on this figure looks really nice. So the packaging, of course nothing new, you got you know the red, black, orange and yellow packaging with all all the dinosaurs and the humans on the front and on the back you got the artwork of the figure which looks slightly different from the um, actual product and you got the collector's card right there and yeah I'll, I have yet to find that Styracosaurus so let's waste some time and get this dinosaur out of the packaging here is the collector's card and it looks pretty cool if I had to change a few things I'll probably increase um, the strength to a 5 out of 10 and the intelligence to a 6 out of 10 now here's the Monolophosaurus out of her packaging, and I have to say, it looks decent. Now there's not a whole lot to talk about the detailing, because of course, like I said, this is just a repaint slash retool of the Battle Damage one. And see the detailing, not much to say, just the same old stuff from the last figure. And you got, you know, the bottom, and then the other side. So yeah, nothing new besides um, the tail is uh, more curled than the last one. Onto the articulation, you've got one, two, three, four, five points of articulation, as opposed to six on the battle damage, because on the battle damage figure, you can you know, move the neck, but due to the action feature, uh, the neck and the body had to be sculpted together. Moving on to the paint job now, and I slightly prefer this color scheme over the battle damage model of a source. I really like the uh, paint job on the battle damage model of a source, but I just like this one a little more. Mostly because orange is like my second favorite color, of course red being my favorite. And I just love the striping on this figure. See, just look at the legs and on the torso too, and the neck. Sadly, it doesn't continue down, continue all the way down the tail. See, on the striping on the right side looks pretty cool. And see, of course, you got the um, the creamy white underbelly. Of course, the base color is like orange with uh, a yellow orange crest, and of course, like a, a reddish brown. Of course, the reddish brown striping, and of course, the beige color eye with the black pupil, and the beige color teeth. Of course, with a pink mouth. Onto the aesthetics of this figure. And this looks like a pleasant looking figure. You're getting a decent amount of detailing, an awesome paint job, and a nice sculpt as well. Now let's check out the action feature of this toy. And of course, you push down the tail. Uh, she chomps her jaws. I just uh, wish it was the other way. Like, you know, the mouth is closed, then you push down the tail, then the uh, jaw opens. Starting with the comparisons, let's do the most obvious first, which is the battle damage model of Saurus. And as you can see, there's plenty of differences, of course the most obvious being the paint job, and also the tails. This one's uh, more curled, while this one's more straight, which I prefer. And of course, this one doesn't have the battle damage or the neck articulation like uh, this one does. And at, if you, by looking at the top, you can see the Savage Strike Dino Rivals one is more wider at the hips. And this one uh, has this one seems to have no problem standing, while when I took um, this figure out of her packaging, uh, she seemed to have problems standing. See right there? And I, I really don't know why. I'm not sure if the feet are warped or not, or that's just, you know, a, man, a manufacturing issue. Now, as you can see, yeah, these two make a great pair, and they're pretty compatible. Also, this one, uh, this one, you can pose the jaw in, in whatever position you want, while this one, the jaw is just, you know, open forever. Here's the Savage Strike Monolophosaurus next to the only other Dino Rivals figures I have. And I'm still looking for that Concavenator and Cyracosaurus. Here's the Savage Strike Monolophosaurus next to the Roarvors, Ceratosaurus, and Baryonyx, and of course the Action Attack Carnotaurus. Here's the Savage Strike Monolophosaurus next to the Collecte Minis Effectinus. Well, there you have it, guys. This is my review on the Mattel Jurassic World Dino Rivals Savage Strike Monolophosaurus. And I do recommend you guys picking up this figure. It's one of the better Savage Strike figures alongside the Styracosaurus, and also one of the better rep repaints slash retools. If I had to give this figure a rating, I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. I like I like it almost as much as I do with the Battle Damage Model of the Source, which I gave an 8 out of 10. But the reason why this one gets a 7.5 out of 10, because of the uh, balancing issues. And also I don't like how it's too wide at the hips. But you know, that's for the action feature, so 7.5 out of 10 for this figure. If you want this toy, you can get it at, you know, Walmart, at Walmart or Target for $10. So if you guys like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.